Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about the uh, constructor brush, the window weapon from Reach It, uh, Future of Cleaning. Um, I've talked about it before a little bit. Uh, that's the brush uh, that swivels with what we call a side to side. You see, that's what that stands for side to side. Okay, but this is absolutely brilliant. I love it to bits. Okay, it's got rinse bar at the top jets in here as well. Okay, I just prefer to use this rinse bar at the top. That's sufficient for me, but you might uh, find you like using these jets down here, which seems to get into the corners a little bit more. Okay, uh, some people have mentioned that the there's not many bristles in here, but then again, there really doesn't need to be because you've got this pad in the middle which is absolutely awesome. This one's the Reach It's latest one, I think it's called the Blue Steel and that's it's really abrasive. It sort of feels like a Brillo pad, something like that, a scouring pad. Okay, there's, there's different ones you can use though. Um, this would probably be good for most things. Um, bird muck, uh, spider poo, tree sap, etc. But if um, you've got something on the window like silicon, okay, you know what silicon does. Some people have worked on other windows or new windows put in, sometimes there's just a bit of silicon on there. There's a lot, it's going to be a heck of a job. But if there's a little bit, I'm sure that this will probably get it off. If not the first time, after you've been back a few times, then this bronze wool will do the trick. Um, also, I'm pretty convinced that um, using this, these pads will help with hydrophobic glass. I mean, I used the um, Magic Eraser. You see there, there's a pack of these uh, pads, but there's the Magic Eraser. Uh, you can't really use it all the time because it's, uh, it's very wide and then the bristles won't actually contact the glass, but that's for the purpose of seeing if you can get the glass to be more hydrophilic. Now you don't need the bristles at first, you just rub that up and down a few times and see what happens. I mean, I've got a sheet of glass which has really responded well to that, I can tell you that. Um, and like I say, there isn't a lot of bristle here, but you really don't need it because these bristles, by which are very, very dense, because they're in like blades and the end caps, they splay out. And you could just about do the frames as well because the length of these end ones are pretty pretty long to do the frames. Okay. So generally, this is quite an innovation. Uh, they're probably going to lose these uh, edges around the pads. Okay. Um, then you, you get even more surface area of the type that you're going to use. Uh, there's a microfiber one here. Um, if you're just going around um, on a fortnightly basis, which is very few do now, but no, on a monthly basis, which I do, all my works are uh, monthly, with very few exceptions, you, know, you can use microfiber. I think that's called microfiber, isn't it? Um, all that will be in contact with the glass, including these two blades here. And it's, it's truly awesome, and of course. With the rinse bar here, you get all these noddles spraying out in a nice even pattern, um, and you get a much better rinse. And that's the last thing that will touch the glass, you see, because they're above the actual bristles. So, there you go, that's the uh, a bit more on the uh, window weapon, as it's called. It's uh, really good on dirt, and it will get a lot of stuff off the glass like tree sap or whatever these pads there's a pad for everything i can tell you that now i'm not saying it'll bring paint off but um, maybe you need to scrape that off with a scraper first and then this is very good for first cleans but what i would advise though um, is to if you've got very dirty glass if it's first clean or something rinse these out afterwards you know put them in the washing machine get them perfectly clean again because if they were to trap, uh, you know, sand or something, you could uh, scratch a piece of glass with the dirt that might build up in one of these. 
Okay, that's the only downside I can see. Apart from that, I think it's amazing. So, as long as you've got pretty clean glass already, that's not got any sort of like cement or anything on there, um, these should be great for all other things like, as I say, like for bird muck, snail trails especially, that would be brilliant. Because we all know that with just bristles, snail trails are, are a little bit difficult. You know, spiders, all sorts of things like that. Uh, bird muck, I'm sure that uh, one of these will make short work of that. But again, give it a bit of a rinse out because uh, bird muck can contain all sorts of things. So there you go, once again, window weapon. It's all the rage at the moment. Uh, nice piece of innovation, nice piece of kit. I like it. Um, job done.